Yeshayahu, Isaiah 21, the burden of the desert of the sea, as whirlwinds in the Negev pass through, so it comes from the desert, from a terrible land. A grievous vision is declared unto me, the treacherous dealer deals treacherously, and the spoiler spoils. Go up, O Elam, besiege, O Madai. All the sighing thereof have I made to cease. Therefore are my loins filled with pain. Pangs have taken hold upon me, as the pangs of a woman that travails. I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it. My heart panted. Fearfulness frighted me. Hath the night of my pleasure has he turned into fear unto me. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower, eat, drink. Arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus has Adonai said unto me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he sees. And he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, a chariot of asses, and a chariot of camels. And he hearkened diligently with much heed. And he cried, a lion. My lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, and I am set in my ward whole nights. And behold, here comes a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babel is fallen, is fallen. And all graven images of her Elohim he has broken unto the ground. O oh, my threshing! and the grain of my floor, that which I have heard of Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashadael, have I declared unto you. The burden of Duma, he calls to me, out of Seir, Watchman, what of the night? Watchman, what of the night? The watchman said, The morning comes, and also the night. If ye will inquire, inquire ye. Return, come. The burden upon Arabia, in the forest in Arabia, shall ye lodge, O ye traveling companies of Didanim. The inhabitants of the land of Tema brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him that fled. For they fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, and from the bent bow, and from the grievousness of war. For thus has Adonai said unto me, Within a year, according to the years of a hireling, and all the glory of Kedar shall fall, rather fail, and the remnant of the number of archers, the mighty men of the children of Kidar, shall be diminished. For Yahuwah Elohim of Yashadael has spoken it.